Today we have a stand up with Allie, a story on swim, and another urban expedition. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Vikes, I'm Jessica. And I'm Madison, and you're watching SVTV. The last day for driver's ed enrollment is on May 7th. Contact Mr. Tinsley with any questions. The Interact Car Show will be held in the south parking lot of the high school on Saturday, April 27th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Please see Mr. Collins or Mrs. Miller for a registration form. The North Snook will be open during 5th hour, fifth hour lunches on Wednesday the 24th. Seniors, Friday is the last day to apply for the OFG Financial Services Scholarship. See the counselor's webpage for further information. The case of Alex Hansen will be playing on April 18th through the 20th at 7 p.m. Tickets will be sold at the door each night for $5. Any student interested in joining the Writing Center staff next year must fill out an application. Applications are due at the end of the day on May 1st in W6. Let's head over to Allie to learn more about the Latin Dance Workshop this Friday. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Miss Martinez to talk about Latin Dance Day. So what is it? Well, every year I um, rally up my husband and we do a little Latin dance workshop for people. Um, basically, you'll learn three kinds of Latin dancing, merengue, bachata, and salsa dancing. And um, it's gonna be in the multi-purpose room on Friday during seminar. It starts at 10 and space is limited, so people need to sign up in my room. Um, if they want to go and so you'll learn that kind of dancing and then we will also showcase the dances for you. Awesome. Make sure and sign up if you're interested. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to sign up outside of W20. Before we swim on over to Madison for our sports, let's go to a quick commercial break. If you're planning to enroll in driver's ed this summer, enrollment is this month only and costs $175. You must be at least 14 years old and a Seaman High School student. You do not need your learner permit to join. Classes will start on June 3rd and last three weeks. To register for Driver's Ed, go to the Seaman webpage and click on Driver's Ed. Cost is $175. If you have questions, see Mr. Tinsley. See you there, Vikes. Mason and Jason are twin brothers. They are not similar according to others. They obtain jobs at the bank, but who will rank and who will draw a blank? When coming to soft skills, Mason knew just what to do. Unfortunately, Jason had no clue. Working hard every day to stay ahead, while Jason would rather lay in bed. Mason arrived to work in a timely manner, but Jason was not a very good planner. In life and work, you will succeed making soft skills something you need. If soft skills are what you want to explore, go to mysoftskills.org to learn more. Auxiliary trials are April 27th. Trial packets can be picked up in the office or in W12. The girls swim team season has been going good. Let's go learn more about the swimmers. The girls swim season is underway. We went to go see how the team was doing. Our third swim meet was yesterday. And um, so I swam the 50 free and the 100 back. And on my 50, I got two seconds off. And my 100 back, I got one second off, so I think I'm doing pretty good so far. All my events I swim, I have gotten state cuts in them, and then our relays have been really close to getting state qualifying times. Um, I've been doing good in my events so far. I scored fourth in the 100 breast yesterday at the Topeka West Invitational. Um, been helping out the relays a little bit, so yeah, that's good. The swimmers are trying to cut their time in each of their events. Um, I think my goal would just be to try and improve my times the best I can and try and be in some relays. Um, to win city in the 100 backstroke and for us as a team to win city. 
My goal for this season is to qualify in the 100 breast for state again. Also, maybe the 2IM, maybe the 100 fly, you know, qualify as many and as many events as I can for state. And our team goal, I think, is we want to place uh, top 10 at state or maybe like, you know, somewhere around there. The swim team practices every day after school. I'm just going to try to, I haven't been at practice because of the musical. So I'm going to work hard in practice, maybe get some extra laps after practice, improve on my strokes, improve on my technique, and help my teammates. Um, working really hard in practice and showing up at meets and trying. Um, probably just work hard, you know, kick some butt. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. The girls have placed in the top three at most of their meets. The girls will be in action in Bonner Springs tomorrow. Let's head over to Josh to learn more about our weather. Good afternoon to you. Comfortable temperatures continuing throughout the next couple days with highs in the lower 80s, but we do introduce a chance for a few severe thunderstorms tomorrow evening before a much cooler and windier day is ahead for your Thursday. So let's break it down for you, starting with the chance for storms. Here's the picture by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. You can see a pretty good area of storms from southwest to south central Kansas. It's unclear exactly how many storms will form north of this main line, but that's something we'll be watching and hopefully we'll get a better idea of coming up tomorrow. Now, there we are in a slight risk for severe weather, so that means any storms that do develop could produce large hail or damaging winds. That's a threat. We'll be watching for any storms coming up tomorrow. Checking out the seven day forecast, 82 degrees is your high for today and tomorrow. There come the storms late Wednesday into Wednesday night. There could be a few rain showers early for your Thursday before just a windy and cool day. Sunshine returns Friday and Saturday. It's Easter right now, mostly cloudy with storms Sunday night in the longer range above average temperatures and above average precipitation look to continue. Now, Jessica and Madison back to you. Thanks, Josh. Let's go explore the Noto district with Chase and Elias. I can't keep my hands steady. Rhett neck, Rhett neck. Redneck Stroten? Redneck Stroten? Frump Towers? More like Tilted Towers. Am I right, boys? You see a lot of stuff tagged with the toe everywhere. It's everywhere! I'm pretty sure it's a gang thing, but I don't know. But like, if you know any information, you could always tell them like I'm a good explorer. Why, hello to you too, Topeka. Growl. You know, the only other place I've... Oh my God. That's a pretty good Don't looking... Exactly. Just making sure their windows are tight. You know, there's a lot of places to explore in Topeka. A lot more than you think, anyway. Doesn't that make you want to explore the Noto Art District? Absolutely. That's it for today, Vikes. Tomorrow there will be another What's Turning story and a teacher dance-off. Thank you.